Okay, this is VIP Savior here to show you the long and overdue video for the reset for the SCO2E NTT Docomo uh, Note 2. And I'm going to jump right into it, try to make it short, quick, and simple. Um, first thing before you even do anything on this video that I'm about to show you, um, go ahead and reinstall the stock Docomo firmware. As you can see, what I already did that already, and root it with these files below, or with this video below. This is on the XDA uh, thread for the NTT Dogamo. You can find out how to root it here after you do a full full reset. If uh, you didn't modify any files or anything, then you can probably just do a factory reset and do it. It might work, but I recommend just doing a whole clean, full, uh, through Odin, um, reinstall of the uh, Docomo firmware. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the XDA page, the home page. It should be on the front page here. I will post the files for the reset binary account. It will be a little kit. It should have three files. It will have Odin. We we'll have stock boot, recovery, and the reset binary count file. So you click there, and you're going to download the files. Save them. Um, you can save them on your desktop or wherever. I usually put them on the desktop just for this video to make it easier. So here, here goes my two files. I already downloaded them earlier. And let me figure out what am I going to do here. Okay. We're going to go to the phone. And we're going to go to settings, go all the way down, developer options, make sure debugging is checked. Okay, and we're going to put the phone in download mode. You hold the power button, volume down, and home button at the same time. Make sure you do this, uh, or when you do this, you have at least 50% uh, battery power. You don't necessarily need it, but just to be on the safe side. Um, after you see all the Japanese text, you press up one time on the volume button. You're going to see here I have uh, five counts at the top there, and this says custom and custom. So, I have a custom recovery and a rooted phone a rooted boot file so to get that to say official so you can take your phone back uh, this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna spark up Odin and we're gonna see that your phone let me put it's best to put my phone over here auto reboot is checked F reset is checked and your phone shows up now we're gonna click PDA. We're going to go to the files that we downloaded from the home page or the description below. Go down to reset binary count file. Click open. Start. It passed. The phone will reset. It takes a little bit to boot up. Docomo boot up the logo. Okay. Let the phone go ahead and boot up and do its thing. And the reason I tell you to do a factory reset is because with this kernel, um, some some things cause it to. Uh, 
do a boot loop and just reset so the best way to do it is just to do a whole factory reset so after that's all said and done it's booted up we're good to go make sure you go to the app store and download the chain fire triangle app I'll show you that there it is this is what it look like chain fires root triangle app and that's what you're looking for you download it after you're done downloading you hit open give it access if you did not give it access already as you can see I have six on my counter for custom my binary is custom we're gonna flash reset counter hit continue flash counter has been reset then you can go back into the app and now it says zero it says official but we still ain't done now we have to clean up the the super user so we go to um, we go to super user and we're gonna go to settings you're gonna scroll up and it's gonna say full unroot root cleanup hit continue uninstall super user so now we can we can go into download mode again and this is the thing you have to go direct to download mode when you do it if not uh, it'll reset and then put another counter up there and we go up my binary account says official and my system status says custom because I have a custom recovery still on here so we're gonna go to PDA again make sure your phone shows up two things are re uh, auto reboot F reset time click PDA go to the other file that you downloaded in the kit will say stock boot and recovery click that hit open press start it'll take a little bit too like before uh, for the phone to boot up And I'll click reset. We should be done with that. Sometime today. It's going to go through its little install. And you're going to come up to the setup page again hit next I'm gonna skip all this next skip 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 basic whatever and finish now we don't have super user which is good nowhere now we go back to download mode, power, volume down, home button, when you see the Japanese text, you let go, press up 
on the volume. And now, if you, if I can get this thing to focus correctly, um, it says, uh, Jesus. It says official. Um, right here, I have no counts. Custom bi binary, no. Uh, system status, official, official. So, you're all good to go. Now, you can take your phone and take it right back to Docomo without them knowing that you rooted. Thank you, and I hope this helped you guys out a lot. If you have any questions, please go over to the XDA forums. And uh, we should have no problem answering some of your questions. Enjoy.